In his effort to push back the Shonten invaders, Captain Rodo Iteralda led a series of raids into Tarabon, sparking up rebellion through a series of strikes at Shonchan outposts, following a guerrilla warfare. Iteralda himself leads one of those raids at the town of Serana. With this move, he succeeds in enraging the Shonten enough to make them hunt him down. So, gathering his troops, he turns back into Arad Zoman, followed closely by the invaders. But, unbeknownst to them, they are walking right into the trap Iturralde had previously set. Once the Shonchan step through the Domani border, another army appears, out of thin air, following the invaders from the rear. Finding himself trapped between Hammer and Anvil, General Turan, the commander of the Shonchan troops, decides to press on to the north, into the walled town of Darlune. Since his Rakan scouts have yielded reports, informing that the town is poorly defended, which makes it an easy target and a sizable spot to withstand a possible siege from the Domani troops. Upon arriving into the city surroundings, Turan confirms what his scouts have told him. The town ahead lacks a defending force, and the only men that can be seen are farmers plowing the fields nearby. Thus, he gives the order to strike at the gates. All this time, on a nearby hill, Iturralda was watching closely the enemy movements through a spyglass. After a quick inspection, he realizes the enemy outnumbers him 3 to 1, since the Shonjan surpassed the 300,000 men, while he himself leads roughly 100,000 Domani and Taraboner soldiers. Nevertheless, every single movement from the enemy fits right into what it rolled foresaw. Therefore, as the Shonchan begins the assault on the walls, he gives the signal and his plan unfolds. The main bulk of his army, which was hidden inside the buildings of the city, bursts out into the streets and pour out of the gates just when the Shonchan were about to reach them. At the same time, the farmers working the fields throw away shovels and hoes revealing themselves as soldiers in disguise, and charging into the Shonchan from the flanks, smashing them against the walls. These sudden and unexpected moves take the enemy by surprise, causing massive casualties. However, Iturralda's forces are still heavily outnumbered, and many among them fall to their deaths too, especially under the attacks of the Damani, since over 100 of them are present. Even so, the lack of space between them and their targets make the attacks of the Damani very ineffective, and after a short time, the Shonchan channelers begin to strike lightning bolts at the walls, desperately trying to escape through holes opened in it. The situation becomes so dire for the Shonchan that they are left with no choice but to break lines and flee, bestowing upon Iturralde a costly victory. In the aftermath of the battle, Iturralde finds General Turan lying on the battlefield, fatally wounded. Since there's mutual respect between them, Iturralde confesses how he defeated him, stating that since the Shonchan relied so much on Rakan scouts, he took advantage of its flaws. The Rakan fly over the fields at such a high altitude that they are capable of noticing only so many details, and Iturralde exploited that hiding his men away inside the houses and disguising some others as farmers. Besides, he reveals to Turan that the other army, following the Shonchan from the rear, was just a ruse, made up mostly of women and children. Turan commends his foe and asks him for a merciful death, but first he warns him that the Shonchan will not commit the same mistake twice and that this crushing defeat will make them more determined to hunt Iturralde down. The wolf says he is aware of that and proceeds to execute the enemy general. Half of Iturralde's army fell at the city of Darluna, amounting to 50,000 men, while the death toll on the Shonchan side exceeded 100,000 casualties. Once again, Iturralde gathers his men and retreats further north, looking for a place to wait for the inevitable final attack from the Shonchan, which he knows will soon come. More Wheel of Time battles are on the way, so if you like my content, 
please consider subscribing to my channel and give me a like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.